morning from my hotel room in Detroit, Michigan. Guys, this is incredibly cool. I am so excited to be here. You may have seen my last vlog. If you have, you will know that this is the second part of our little American excursion <laughs> trip across a couple of states here in the States. Our second of which being Michigan and we are in the city of Detroit, as I just mentioned. I have never been here before. So I think that actually I'm gonna be in for a pleasant surprise because I really think that the best way to visit a city is to come with no expectations. Like it is great visiting places that you've heard loads about or that you've been to before, but sometimes the best way is to just be thrown in blind and be like, look, this is where you are and this is what it has to offer. If you did watch my vlog from Minneapolis, you may have seen that I'm here with Visit USA, which are a brand kind of promoting various different states across America. As I mentioned, we have been in Minnesota and Michigan. The two M, there's definitely more than two. How many M states are there? Four, five? Quite a lot. Yeah, I'm really, really lucky to be working with them on this vlog and also here with them on this trip. I am so grateful. We have had the most incredible time so far and I can't wait to continue sharing it with you. We are staying in a hotel called the Anthem. I'm gonna put it on screen because I'm not too sure, I can't remember. We checked in super late last night. We landed at about 1 a.m. So it was a bit of a rush. So because of that, I'm gonna do you a room tour, but please excuse the, the bit of mess that's going on because I have been here about eight hours now, but it's incredible, guys. Oh my God. Oh. It's called the Athenium, that makes sense. Walk in and you've got this living room. A living room in a hotel? Madness. Then you walk through to like, what I'm gonna call the sleeping quarters, which are just down here. Guys, there's stairs. I have a hotel room with stairs in it, what the hell. Two gorgeous beds, clearly I slept in this one so we're gonna ignore that. Massive floor to ceiling windows with this view out over Detroit and I just FaceTimed my boyfriend Tom and showed him this and he said this building reminded him of the big famous one in Manchester, um, the Hilton on Deansgate and it does sort of give those vibes. Side by side, what do you think? This is the bathroom, I'm gonna show you it quickly but it is a mess because I've been getting ready guys. On your left we have the bath and then here you have the sink. The less I show you of that, the better. Now my outfit, you're probably thinking that's very casual. We are starting off the day with a cycling tour of Detroit. My thinking was warmth and comfort. I've got sports leggings on and converse. So I do I do quite like the outfit, but it's obviously very casual. Then we're gonna come back and get changed before we head out to do anything else. Do absolutely love this jumper. This is a new one from Goose and Gander. It's part of their autumn collection, and I just think it's really, really cute. But right now I need to head downstairs to the lobby to have breakfast. And guys, I've seen the breakfast menu and chef's keys. outfit change because turns out we're not actually going cycling until after lunch so I've popped on these cargoes and then I bought this jumper in H&M yesterday because I actually didn't have any long sleeve tops with me and it's eight degrees where did I pack for because it wasn't here at the conservatory I think it's called actually we're gonna head inside it's very chilly guys like none of us really realized just how cold it was gonna be Kaz and I have the same jacket on we bought this we're yesterday <laughs> if you don't have this get one or you can't sit with us you can't sit with us even no. Jess bought one we all bought one <laughs> so if you don't have one you're missing out from H&M but yeah we're here this is the first stop off of the day it looks really beautiful um, it's sort of giving like Crystal Palace vibes I said this to Tom earlier because I facetimed him and told him where we were going and he was like, oh, what, the football stadium? And I was like, no, 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 like the actual Crystal Palace. You'll see what I mean. So outside, guys, there's like botanical gardens. And then inside, obviously, they've got all of this like green greenhouse vibes. But what is more interesting is that this is the last piece of land owned by America before you cross over into Canada. So behind me, there's like a skyline of a few buildings just over here. They're actually in Canada. This is the furthest north I've ever been in the States and also um, the closest to Canada I've ever been, which I think is very, very cool. Would... Here we see a wild Greg getting his Instagram content. <laughs> a wild Instagram. <laughs> a wild rare Instagram, a rare sighting behind the scenes. Here we go, look at this. Oh, influencers everywhere. <laughs> this is Jess, meet Jess. Hi. You met Jess in the Minneapolis vlog, yeah, you but did. you're meeting her again. Yeah, I'm here. Here so she I'm is. Yes, we are. Today. It's very, are you admitting you were cold? 
Are you admitting it? This is the first day I've been cold. Jess has been like, I'm not cold, I'm not I'm, cold. I'm a warm person by nature, but today I am feeling a little bit. It is a little bit nippy. Yeah, it's because we're so close to Canada. That's what I was just saying. Yeah. Literally over there, guys, Canadian border. I heard it's pretty cold over there. I've heard it, I've heard it is, yeah. This is gonna going go to terribly. It's going to fall. <laughs> God, oh God, what a wally. What's that stat she just told us? It's the oldest. Oh, I missed the first bit, but she was saying it's 118 years old and that it has been running the whole time, like from when it opened, except for COVID. And there's also an aquarium. That was pretty much it. And yep. something about it being the oldest one in the United States. So we spent about an hour just exploring these different gardens, seeing what there was to offer. And this whole place was really cool. I really recommend checking it out. After we'd finished up here, we actually hopped in the hire car over to the Eastern Markets, which have loads of different areas you can eat, loads of cool graffiti, that kind of thing. I got these insane peanut butter pancakes. Before we then headed on our guided bike tour of the city with Electric Avenue Bikes, and this is my top recommendation if you're ever, ever, ever in Detroit. The guy that led us was called Jason, and he had some pretty cool stories about what it's been like living here in Detroit his whole life. This one that I've got on film here is my favorite one that he told us. The home of R&B and jazz is called Burt's Warehouse. Well, at the time we were trying to figure out how come we didn't have an m, &M mural on this building? Sitting at the table and somebody said, we need to start the process of trying to figure out how we can get a hold of m, &M. And I said, excuse me, I can actually call m, &M right now. And they said, excuse me? And I said, yeah, I can call him if you want me to. And they said, how would you call m, &M? Well, in 1997, I used to work at a place called St. Andrew's Hall. St. Andrew's Hall is one of Detroit's premier concert halls. I used to work with a lot of acts, but I didn't make any money. So I decided I wanted to be a promoter. So the first concert I ever booked was a group called Hieroglyphics out of California. Well, as soon as I booked him, I started getting all these calls about this dude named Eminem. Everybody started calling me and saying, you should book this guy M, he's up and coming, you need to book Eminem. And I actually said no. The reason I said no is I'm from the west side, he's from the east side. I wasn't representing that. Well, after about my 10th phone call, I finally said, fine, I'll book this dude. So his manager at the time, his name was Mark Kempf. Mark and I agreed upon a fee. Anybody want to guess what I paid Eminem for the first time I booked him? Hundred bucks, that's close. That would actually be zero dollars. I paid him nothing. No way. The reason why is at the time he wasn't known. So he actually thanks me on the first three albums that he has out because I was part of him blowing up. Three weeks after we worked together, he signed to Dr. Dre no. and became Slim Shape. No. So that Stop is a it. true story. If you want to look that up, it's it's public knowledge that you know we've been friends since then. But once again, I tell that story to show you how small Detroit is yeah. really in real life and also to make myself look, seem way cooler than I am. Yeah. People are so bloody talented. Okay, a very messy bathroom, but we've had a very speedy outfit change. I've done my hair. We're going out for Mexican food in Mexican town and I am bloody buzzing. Got on this skirt, which is from Bershka. Same top that I had on earlier. Then I'm gonna pop my Doc Martens on and we're gonna head out. Good morning from Detroit. I still have the same hairstyle in, we're not gonna judge that. Um, but it is currently Thursday. It's our next full day here, and actually our last full day here. We've done three days in each city, which actually, even prior to this trip, I would always say is the perfect amount of time you need to explore a brand new city if you're doing it like fairly quickly. I totally, totally just got sidetracked, what the hell? And it's also like a morning in Detroit and I'm about to head downstairs for breakfast. The itinerary today is probably my favorite day of the itineraries so far. So we are heading to the Motown Museum, which is a museum all about the music influence here. There is obviously a huge, huge culture of various different music genres actually, but Motown is one of the like original classic music genres rooted in Detroit's history, rooted in Michigan's history, American history. I don't know too much about it, but I know enough to know that it's a big deal. Um, and then this afternoon we're actually going to the Henry Ford Museum, which I'm also quite interested in because during school I studied, well, I seem to study American history in every single subject. I don't know why I did so, so many American history topics, but we did 1920s America 
as a big fat history topic and we learned about the manufacturing of Ford cars for like a whole bloody year I'm pretty sure it was a long time or maybe it just felt like a long time but we did a lot about like Henry Ford's influence in consumer marketing in the US economy in the Wall Street crash like we did a lot of stuff to do with like the car production line and how that really changed America so I'm really quite excited to go to this museum also not to mention the fact that my boyfriend is a huge car fan just generally and specifically really into like old Ford cars Ford Mustangs yeah I don't know he's just He's just one of those. So I'm really excited on his behalf, even though he's not here. Um, and then this evening we're going to the RM Renaissance Tower, which I believe is the tallest building here in Detroit. And we're having drinks at their rooftop bar. Yesterday was amazing. I loved the bike tour. The guy that was in the vlog explaining the story about Eminem was so lovely, so much fun. He literally gave Greg his number. He was like, if you want to know anything else about Detroit, let me know. And basically we made friends with him. But anyway, I'll show you my outfit. This top is from Urban Outfitters. Like ribbed, elastic and mesh. Jeans are the same jeans because my God, these are a godsend. These are from H&M. And then I've got my Air Force on. And I think I might wear my long leather blazer, but bring my puffer because it's just so chilly that I do need a big coat. But like the leather blazer is more the vibes. So we actually had a guided tour of the Motown Museum and they did ask us not to film inside but I got a couple of photos and I really think that what is most insane about this is it's been left exactly as it was in the 70s and 80s before Motown moved over to Los Angeles. So interesting, if you're ever here you definitely definitely should come, this is the home of Motown music. Not gonna lie, before I came here I really didn't know very much about it at all but they have turned out so many massive stars and so many massive songs that you would absolutely have heard of like who do you think the most famous person was that they've worked with Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson the Jackson probably. 5 yeah, probably yeah Michael Jackson but there was also like literally some of the biggest names like Marvin Gaye yeah. um, Stevie yeah. Wonder Stevie Wonder Diana yeah. Ross so many Aretha Franklin as well yeah yeah. So many. The Temptations. People. And we've just been in the same room as all of them. Where they recorded yeah. all their major hits was in this building behind us right now. Like, it is insane. And you're standing there and you're thinking, I can't believe these people have stood right here. Not only that, they've like made their biggest hits in this room. It was very, very cool. So if you're ever in Detroit, this is a must do, especially if you're into music. Like, I really love like the behind the scenes of how music is made. I think that's so interesting. And like, how they write the lyrics, how they get the album pulled together. Like, super interesting. Really, really recommend. It's very cool. And it's right in the center of the city as well so very ideal if i can sing you guys can honestly never hear me shout i reckon you can sing you were giving that a good go you say what can make me feel this way my girl <laughs> What was your best bit of that experience? I actually really did enjoy that. It was really cool. I, not gonna lie, I didn't know much about Motown. On the way in, I asked you what yeah. genre Motown is. Turns and I was Motown, really wrong. You were, well, you said what, kind of jazzy blues stuff? Yeah, no, I said soul. And I guess it kind of was a soul, little bit. Yeah, but it's actually its own genre. Yeah. And it's just really cool that we were in a place where all these massive stars were. Crazy, crazy. Like Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, Jackson 5, Temptations. It's so, so many people. And it's also really cool that they like defined a genre themselves. Like they literally made up a music genre and it's like absolutely huge. Yeah, my favorite Insane. part was uh, dancing and singing as well. Yeah, at the Studio end, a. the guy that was doing the tour got us all to like do a little dance and like, oh, it was good vibes. It was really good. Good vibes. Guys, this place is so sick. Oh my god. They've got the car in here that JFK was in when he got shot. Not gonna lie, I can't believe that that is in here and I cannot believe that that is real. I was literally on the flight here watching the episode of The Crown where JFK gets killed. I feel like we've come full circle. Guys, look at this. This is the actual real car that JFK died in. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Guys, this museum was honestly filled with so many cool things, not just the history of cars, but the history of innovation across America as a whole, which was so, so interesting to learn about. One of 700, the first 750 made, we don't know exactly why, where, but it, uh, which one it was, but it's one of the first one of 750. So out of 15, 15 million. million. Yeah. Wow, that's wow. Oh my gosh, I want this one. Kaz, this matches your outfit perfectly. I know. It was made for you. So can we just keep 
keep driving. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Honestly, guys, all I can think is how much Harry and Tom would love it here. Like, this would be so, so up their alley. It's actually crazy. You can also really see from this map here, these are from like the 50s, these photos. Um, just how like densely populated the east coast of America was versus like the rest of it at the time It's so crazy. Oh, I find stuff like this so interesting guys You guys know how I feel about a museum and this is a particularly good museum and I've been to quite a lot Let's go Dunning. And I'm gonna spin around to you again. How are you finding it here? Kaz um, vlogging vibes. <laughs> it's going great. I'm just gonna add music over the top of this, but I'm just gonna leave the <laughs> My gorgeous, gorgeous audio. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Driven to win theatre. I don't know what my skills are like, but I hope Molly's proud of me. I think that looks pretty good. You've got it very steady. Thank you. Do you have a YouTube channel? You have a YouTube channel. That I never use. Tell her to make vlogs, guys. I'll vlog. They want your vlogs. One day. <laughs> today is the day. You should start today. Guys, this museum is sick. I actually wish we had longer here because you could definitely spend like an entire day in here. This is a little collection that's just here at the moment, like a temporary exhibition of the heroes and villains Disney costumes. I'm sorry, this is a little bit of me. This is a lot of me. Wherever you go in this country, Walt Disney's just got a little touch all over it. I'm sorry, absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. Absolutely sick. Oh, what a powerful powerful two actresses. This is the most recent 2015 Cinderella dress worn by Lily James. How insane is that? And here's the glass slipper. <gasps> that is beautiful. I absolutely love that. I want that shoe. Boo. Guys, I literally recognised that one straight away. Who else was a massive Enchanted fan when they were younger? Not Cruella de Vil. Oh, iconic. I've actually not seen A Wrinkle in Time. I did not know that Oprah Winfrey was in that film. What else have we got? Mary Poppins. <gasps> not the original Mary Poppins, worn by Julie Andrews. Surely not. Surely not. The more recent one, worn by Emily Blunt. Glinda, also great and powerful. That is insane. That's from Once Upon a Time. Do you remember Once Upon a Time, guys? Does that still air? No, it doesn't. It ended in 2018. That was so popular when I was in high school. <laughs> My name is Sandy Pan, I'm a costume designer. My name is Ellen Morajnik and I'm a costume designer. A little time has passed. I actually can't remember the last thing that I filmed. I think it was probably in the Ford Museum. That was actually really, really good. If you're ever in Detroit, I really, really recommend going. Don't just think of it as like a museum about cars because it's so much more than that. It has so many different exhibitions, like as you saw. But also from like a historical point of view and from like a impact in Detroit point of view, really interesting. Anyway, as you can see, I've now got changed. We are heading out for our final dinner at a building that I believe is called. Jess is in the bathroom. GM Renaissance, and I think, I'm pretty sure Camilla said it was the tallest building in Detroit. So that's cool. Gonna have some dinner, gonna have some drinks. It's gonna be like a last, a last little party because, oh, I just punched the wall. A last little party because it is our final evening all together. But this is my outfit. My top is a little bodysuit. I actually got this in new look. Shoes are these heels from Princess Polly which I wear all the time because they're really easy. They're the only shoes I can walk in. And then I've got a blazer down there, which I had tailor-made in Vietnam. You've seen it before. It's the green one. Cool, time to go. Guys, this bar is beautiful. Here is Jessica. She's looking cute. We've all got a bit dressed up. Here's Kaz. Here's Greg. Looking cute. Also, I mean, I think the main the main showstopper is the view. The three of us have espresso martinis. I think Kaz has some kind of sweet. margarita. I don't know. Something like that. She's a tequila kind of girl. Um, and we've got some food coming. I'm very excited about taking my hair out of the clip already. That lasted five minutes. Not even oh my five God, minutes. That's good. I need to have the what? Oh, the even, bread. Even the bread here is stunning. The bread. I'm having the time of my life. We are thriving, guys. Do you want a taste test? Ready? It's good, isn't it? It's so like salty and it's warm. And so it's what are giving me breakfast vibes? Mm -hmm. It's so good. I'm having the time of my life. We're having a great time. Yeah. That's yeah. probably the glass of wine we were like oh, look, 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 at the hotel. Just now we're waiting for these two to finish getting ready. Okay. Greg, please. To finish getting ready. Influences are so inconsiderate. Influences everywhere. No, we were waiting for them to finish getting ready, so we had a glass of wine and we were like chugging it down because then they were ready a bit quicker than we thought they would be. Yeah. So, on, a, on a pretty empty stomach as well. On a very empty stomach. It's going to be a fun night. It's going to be a great night.
once again, I didn't end it. I'm the worst for ending vlogs, guys. I kind of just feel as though once I check out of a hotel or I board the plane, the vlog's ended and I haven't actually spoken to you. But I want to say a huge, huge thank you to the brand Visit USA and also Visit Detroit who had invited us, invited me, um, wanted us to explore their city and their estate to kind of show it off to you guys that maybe haven't considered going before. There really was so much vibrant history, especially in Detroit. They have such a huge music scene, such a huge cultural impact influence that has trickled down into so many areas of society as we know it today that actually I think that if you're up in the north and the northern border of America it would be a crime not to stop here and explore it for yourself. We had the most lovely trip. I'm so grateful for the experience and also so grateful for the friends that I've made. I genuinely feel like we actually got a really close bond and it was so lovely so hopefully that came across in the vlogs as well. I'll leave all the Instagram links down below for everybody in this vlog. Also visit USA, visit Detroit if you wanted to check them out know a little bit more that will all be linked down in the description don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here i have two videos from new york city coming your way so hopefully you're going to enjoy those as well because i stayed in the states a couple of extra days i just thought why not you know i had to pass through new york anyway so it made sense so there are going to be two more videos on my channel from america subscribe so that you don't miss them thank you so much for watching this one and i shall see you in my next video bye guys